Come here. Come here. Oh, give me a kiss. You gonna stay in here with me? You gotta sit down. If you gonna stay in here with me, you gotta sit down. You gotta sit down, okay? Good girl. Hey guys, it's Vaughn, and welcome back to another favorites video. I'm so excited. Listen, I know it's been a minute. Listen, I know it's been a minute. I have been so busy, it's been so hectic. I've been posting vlogs every Sunday, you guys know that, but I have not been posting any favorites or any other content outside of vlogging because it's just been a lot. But I'm really excited to be here and reconnect with you guys on some products that I've been loving. So let's go ahead and get into it. So I have a little partner in crime here today to join me for this video. Sansa Girl is gonna be hanging out. This is my kind of Corso Sansa, if you guys are not familiar. Um, she is an Italian Mastiff. She's having a moment, she needs some affection. So I'm not gonna be able to film this video without you know doing this. So let me just uh, rub on her and talk to y'all at the same time, okay? Sansa, you gotta join me for this. You gotta be a good girl. Tata, you are so funny. I love you. Sorry if it's a little bit noisy in the background. I've got a few people over, okay? But uh, the favorites filming must go on. So, Tata, Tata, chill, okay? Chill, okay? So if you're new around here, I try to do the favorites videos once a month where we cover everything Vaughn, everything that I'm loving from skincare to hair care to food items to fashion to everything okay so today i want to kick this video off sharing with you guys some of my favorite skincare products listen over the past couple of months i've been sent a bunch of products from a bunch of different companies y'all it's just crazy i have tons and tons of skincare products just stacked up in my bathroom but there was one particular one that stood out and i wanted to kind of share a little bit about that with you guys this is the brand that i had tried recently you guys it's called skin life and i had a really great experience with these products so i'm going to tell you guys all about it i feel like the best way for me to explain is to Demonstrate. Hey you guys, cutting into this favorites video really quick because I want to demonstrate to you um, my skincare routine, but also highlight a few products that I think you guys might be interested in. So let's get into it. All right, welcome to my bathroom countertop, the place where skincare magic begins and ends, frankly. As you can see, I have some new products to add to my stash. It's called Skin Life. It comes with a beauty bar and a bunch of products in bottles. So let's go ahead and get started. I just wanna start off by saying I am really bad at beauty routines. I never really established a skincare routine for myself until like after the age of 30 before that I really wasn't taking it seriously it was just like soap and water and body lotion basically when you're younger it just seems like unless you have acne or eczema you know the skincare conversation is really not for you and if I'm being honest becoming an influencer has exposed me to a lot more quality in the skincare space people send me stuff all the time and so I've been exposed to some pretty good stuff and that's kind of one of the reasons I wanted to do this segment because I want to talk to you guys about my experience with skincare and kind of how I have have arrived at the routine that I have today. So I've just cleansed my face with that beauty bar and now I'm just exfoliating my lips. Now let's move on to the good stuff. This is a spray mist, it's made with sea moss. It's the perfect follow-up toner for that intense cleansing my face just underwent. However, as intense as it was, it was definitely gentle, but it removes everything that does not need to be there. Next, I'm gonna condition my face, so to speak, by adding in this daytime nutrient vitamin and collagen booster. Now this is definitely something new that I've added into my skincare routine in consideration for the fact that my skin is aging. I really love the idea of using a collagen booster in tandem with taking your daily vitamins and the applicator makes it really easy to apply. Now it's time to moisturize. This is the Skin Life Day Cream. It's a daytime moisturizing cream and it is intense, you guys. A little bit goes a very long way and if you tend to have really dry skin, this is going to be perfect for you. However, on the other side of that, if your skin tends to lean a little bit more into the oily side, you definitely wanna scale back and use very little like I do. It's not even because my skin is oily, it's just because it's not that dry. I like to finish up with a chapstick because the skin on your lips is skin too. And if I know I'm going to be heading out, I'm definitely going to put on my sunblock. This has been the one constant in my skincare routine over the years. Today I'm using the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Defense. It's a radiant protective veil. It's got SPF 30 and when you put it on, it disappears like magic. So taking it back to the whole point, you guys, I really love these Skin Life products because I've seen some major differences in my skin. Here you guys can see a comparison between now and what my skin looked like just a month ago 
it is so much more radiant. The whole point of skincare for aging skin is not to try to somehow turn back the hands of time. I don't subscribe to those kind of claims, right? It's about preserving the skin that you have. And I think how we measure the success of an aging skincare routine is our ability to do just that. So the two things that I want you guys to take from this skin life demonstration is one, I feel like these products were formulated to preserve the natural glow that women have. If you have that, you will look at it any decade in your life. And two, I feel like these might have been formulated specifically for black skin y'all I don't know maybe it's just me but sometimes when I use products that claim to be for everyone they feel like they're just kind of sitting on top of my skin right but with skin life it feels like what I'm putting on my face is a perfect match all right now really quick let's get unready right I want to show you guys how I do my evening routine with these products now skin life makes a cleansing and healing oil this is an organic oil infused with calendula I hope I'm pronouncing that right I like to use this on days where I've worn makeup I use it to cleanse my face right Right? because the oil helps to remove the makeup so I kind of use this as like my first step in the process but also as it states on the packaging it's healing so after a long day of being out in the elements this is a perfect end of day skin treatment I like to go ahead and massage it in with my fingers and as a second step I'll go ahead and use a makeup remover wipe but some people may like to use the makeup remover wipe first and use the oil second so you got some options there after all of my preliminary makeup removal I'm going to wet my face down in preparation for my cleansing routine so I'm going to reach for my glow skin enhancement beauty bar I typically will use my hands to you know work up a good lather and to massage the cleansing solution into my face and then I'll use a towel to remove the soap and I use black towels in case there's makeup transfer and I don't know about you guys but removing makeup at the end of the day feels so therapeutic there's nothing like a fresh face now that my face is all cleansed and bare I'm going to reach for probably my favorite item out of this entire product line and it's the skin life anti-aging serum this is a nighttime renewal serum and this smells like everything right with life like it's uh, this is my favorite fragrance out of everything in the line and all this stuff smells pretty good you guys but this stuff is incredible before I use it I like to try to mix it up and shake it up because there is a lot of separation that happens inside the bottle but once you get it on I just go ahead and very gently massage it into my face and let me tell you putting this on a fresh clean face feels so incredible it just absorbs into my skin right away and it's very moisturizing once that's all absorbed into my skin I'm gonna reach for the skin life night cream this is a nighttime repair cream and definitely my second favorite out of the entire collection admittedly it looks a little weird right the texture but it's so mattifying you guys I think that's why I love it so much because it creates the appearance of like really really healthy supple skin I think my skin likes the night cream better than the day cream just like the day routine I apply my chapstick and then I'm ready for bed having amazing new products that I'm excited about helps me stick to a routine I'll drop all of my favorites down below and I hope you'll try the entire collection for best results okay what you guys think about that <laughs> I'll put links below to everything if you guys want to explore but let's go ahead and move on oh and I almost forgot to share today's look so this top that I have on you guys I really love that it has like that little peplum look to it it ties on the side. I really like this top, y'all. It's an Amazon find by a company called Mihal. I'll put a link below if you guys wanna check it out. But I love it because it's one, an affordable top, right, to wear in the summer. It's really, really cute and girly. I love the color, y'all. Like, when I tell you I love brown, it's because of all these different variations that I can get. It just complements my skin tone so, so much. So I really love this color. The material feels like some kind of silk blend but I know it's not truly that but it feels like that on my body so it's really super cute my cutoff shorts are from Fashion Nova girl not me wearing some Daisy Dukes <laughs> I'm showing my legs this summer okay and my shoes are actually by Gucci they are mules of some sort and I really like these shoes so much you guys because they are super comfy okay it has just enough heel to feel really feminine and dainty but not so much where you feel like you're gonna be uncomfortable so I can wear these anywhere and you guys I have worn these shoes so much more than I thought I would when I bought them. These are perfect for me. And I think if you're into looking really poised and understated with your fashion, you should definitely look into these mules. I know that they have them at Nordstrom. Of course, they have them at the Gucci store and all over. You know, a lot of times with certain fashion trends, they'll have them one minute and then they will discontinue them to make room for something else. So if you do like what you see, I would definitely say do not hesitate. Go and get them. This is the second year of me seeing them be available, but I can't promise they'll be around for next year. And my hair, you guys, this is 
is just a basic twist out. As you can see, I took my braids out. I had those braids in for over a month. I wanna say I had them in for like five and a half weeks. And I finally took them out and my hair was in pretty good shape, I must say, when I took them out. It grew a little bit. I think my hair grew uh, maybe three quarters of an inch, which is pretty significant. And I was kind of like wild when I was looking in the mirror like, oh, okay, a little more length. So I'm really loving um, doing twist outs. I never liked twist outs as much in the past because I preferred like flat twist outs and different things like that. But ever since my hair has gotten longer, I've been a lot more into braid outs and twist outs than ever before. It's something about the length, it's something about the way that the shrinkage kind of wears on me now. So my hair is pretty shrunken right now. Let me see if I can show you. So it's, you know, not too, too bad, but it's kind of shrunken right now. I just love the body of it. Um, and it turned out really, really cute. And this is the product that I use. I've talked about this before. It's the Flawless by Gabrielle Union Defining Curl Cream. This hydrates and defines curls like no other. And today's handbag is brought to you by Coach. <laughs> no, in all seriousness, this is the Coach um, Pillow Tabby handbag. Y'all, I am obsessed with this little handbag, honey. When I bought it, I was just naturally drawn to it. I didn't know anything about this bag trending or being a top seller or anything. I just gravitated towards it because it was a beautiful color right i'm really into the mustards which is a version of brown right you know looks like simba right from the lion king that's probably why i was attracted to it and then like the way it looks you know it's kind of puffy you know it's got that texture it's got that 3d effect kind of popping out at you and i just love how the bag functions right so you have this handbag this top handle which can come off and be replaced by a longer strap which is right here. You can fit your cell phone in here. You can fit all your credit cards. You can fit touch-ups for makeup. If you guys are interested in exploring the Pillow Tabby and you wanna shop around or whatever, I know that there have been sales left and right. I will put a link in the description box directly linking to this bag if you guys wanna check it out. Cause like I said, I know that it was on sale at one point too. So now's the time to just look into it, you know, save some money. But I really love this bag. It's probably my favorite bag at the moment. So I was contacted by a company called Nest Necessaire, and they sent me their little trio set of body products. It includes their body lotion, their body wash, and their deodorant gel. Y'all, I am shook by these products. Listen, I'm always really excited when I come across products that really serve my skin, right? Addressing my issues with dryness and helping my skin to retain moisture, helping me to smell good, you know? That's always the best part of getting out the shower. You know, you feel clean, but you also wanna smell clean. It's all a part of the cleanliness experience, if you will. So there are certain products that have fragrances that really speak to me, and one of them being herbal fragrances, right? That's the thing that I think I love the most. And these products, like one my heart girl because they have the eucalyptus scent. One of the best scents to ever be discovered on this planet. I love eucalyptus. So with this body wash, you guys, it suns up so nice. It feels so smooth on my body. And when I get out of the shower, I feel incredible. My skin is ready to receive a moisturizer and the scent of this just stays with me. It has a unique kind of lid. Most body washes I use don't have this, but you just twist it and um, it opens at the top and you're able to just kind of pour the product out and then you close it by just twisting it back. For me, that is kind of awesome because it's less mess. Only thing about this is I'm just mad that it's in such a small container, like I need three or four times this amount. Of course, right out of the shower, you wanna reach for your body lotion. For me, the best way to go about moisturizing after the shower is to moisturize as soon as you get out of the shower as possible. I don't like to wait and delay. I don't want my skin to completely dry and start looking ashy before I apply my lotion. This particular product is fragrance free, which is kinda nice, you know, especially since the body wash is so strong and potent. And it allows you to be able to follow up with a nice fragrance of your choice if you have some perfume or something, and it's not going to interfere with the smell of your lotion. So I kinda like that. And then last but not least, you guys, the deodorant gel. My favorite part about this gel is obviously the scent. It smells really, really nice. It's just as nice as the body wash, but also you guys, it is a clear deodorant gel, right? That in itself demonstrates a benefit, right? You put this on, you do not have to worry about any kind of residue or any kind of like white markings on your clothing because it's clear. It's clear gel. <laughs> and this is a multi-acid deodorant for your full body, right? So you can apply it in places other than your armpits. So I was really grateful to receive these products from Necessaire, thank you so much. And last but not least for body, I have a couple of drugstore um, products I wanna definitely share. So this first one is an OGX uh, scrub and wash. It is in the scent Coconut and Coffee. Y'all, I really, really love this so, so much. Not only just because of the exfoliating components, right? It is actually a scrub, but the 
the scent does it for me, okay? It's got that coffee, coconut vibe. It's a little bit earthy, it feels sweet. It's just really nice. I love washing up with this. The whole point is to stimulate the surface of the skin to boost hydration and promote moisture retention and all that good stuff. When it comes to summertime, y'all, I'm really a lot more cognizant of like, what my skin looks like. You know, we're wearing less clothing and things like that, showing our legs and all that stuff. So I get way more into like body products. So I highly recommend OGX products. They have a bunch of different wash and scrub combos like this. Another body wash I wanted to share, actually I got for my daughter who is a five year old. This is the Raw Sugar Kids. It's a bubble bath and body wash, and it's in the flavor strawberry vanilla. This is a little 12 ounce bottle, you guys. I use it to create bubbles in her bath at night, or obviously I'll use it as a body wash. Y'all, this smells so good. I was not expecting this. Okay, when I bought this, it was only because, you know, it said it was strawberry, you know, scented. So I'm thinking, okay, that'll be a nice sweet fragrance for Anne. She'll like it. And they didn't have any bubble bath. Y'all know, like, we're having supply chain issues all over the United States these days. And they're running out of, like, everyday household things, like bubble bath and all kinds of stuff. So I grabbed this because they didn't have an actual bubble bath available. So I thought this would be a nice alternative. And, girl, I was pleasantly surprised when we started to use it. Immediately noticed the smell. It smells absolutely incredible. I love the way this smells, you guys. I don't know. It's giving, like, something that you could eat we've really been enjoying this and we did pick this up at Target another bag that I got recently I was really excited about I got an email because I'm on their marketing email list and it said that this bag had dropped and I went immediately on the site and ordered it because I did not want nobody telling me that they were sold out sometimes you just can't delay you have to just get it when you see it so this is the box that it came in you guys might recognize this brand this is Brandon Blackwood okay so let me show you guys do a quick little unboxing and show you how this comes so when you open your box look it's lined in black it's got the Brandon Blackwood repeat kind of going there love it love it love it an envelope here very classy this envelope sleeve let's see what's in here oh it's a thank you note from Brandon <laughs> super cute it's in his handwriting and everything it's so cute and then the bag itself was inside this dust bag, okay, with the nice little drawstring. When you first open this stuff, it smells really strong and, and chemical smell. So I don't know what that is, but it was pretty strong, but I don't care, okay? I don't care. I'm just mentioning it in case you guys were wondering. And then the inside is lined with this foam so your bag is not bouncing all around and getting damaged during shipment. So on to the best part. Let me show y'all the bag. Here's the bag. This blew you away, didn't it? You were not ready for that. Okay, so this is the mini Kendrick trunk in gray tanzanite crystal, okay? So it's got the nice like cube shape to it. It's kind of soft and pillowy. On top of it, they have probably thousands at this point of little tanzanite crystals, y'all. Oh my God. This is probably the prettiest bag I have at the moment, okay? <laughs> the handle is uh, a leather strap and it has Brandon Blackwood printed on there in silver, which is a beautiful compliment to this color. You do have a shoulder strap, which I am not that interested in. I ain't gonna lie, I'm about to take it off right now and show y'all what I mean. The shoulder strap is a nice um, addition. It gives you options, you know, it's just one extra part to the bag um, so that you can play around with it based on your needs that night or that day. But I like it just as a top handle bag like this. Y'all, I am so excited about this bag. Just, just, let's just take a moment to take it all in. Brandon, you did your thing on this one. Girl, when I saw this bag in my email when they sent it to me, I ordered it immediately. I did not wait. I did not pass go. I did not collect $200. What a fabulous bag. Girl, I cannot wait to wear this with, oh my God, like I just can't wait to wear this with like, okay, picture me in um, a beautiful black satin dress with like little skinny spaghetti straps, something like this, but all black. And then I've got on like some black strappy sandals and then I'm carrying this crystal bag. I mean, just picture me, girl, I can't be stopped. I must have my hair natural when I do it. It has to be big, it has to be a big afro. Y'all, this is so fabulous. Let me show you how the inside of the bag looks. So in true trunk fashion, right, it has a latch here and then the bag just tips right open, just like this. Now you do have to apply a little bit of pressure to get the bag open because it does not want to just fall open, right? You gotta think about it. You got this beautiful craftsmanship down here. You got the leather here. The bag is not gonna fold in half, okay? So you do have to apply a little bit of pressure to get in there, but here's the thing. 
right? You didn't buy this bag on how it opens, okay? You bought this bag because it's covered in tanzanite crystals. The inside has like a cute velvet black kind of lining. There is not a whole lot of space in here, honey. You're not gonna be able to fit your big iPhone in here, okay? It's just not gonna work. Phone in hand, bag in the other. That's the arrangement. You close it up like this, hit that latch, baby, <laughs> and you go. You go. Y'all, I am so obsessed with this bag. It is so well made. Look at those little feet at the bottom, right? So yeah, I just love this bag, y'all. It's so beautiful. Um, if you guys are interested, definitely check out Brandon Blackwood's website. I'll put a link below. I, don't get mad at me if it's sold out, honey. You gotta act fast on this stuff. But yeah, I'm so glad I got mine. Okay, a couple more fashion items. Let me show you guys some shoes. So yeah, I was in Nordstrom recently and I was just minding my own business into this pair of sneakers, jumped out at me and told me that they were new and that I had to have them. So I got them. <laughs> This is a new release from Gucci. These are the GG Rython sneakers. These are so much fun, you guys. Hella comfortable, let me just say that. When I did try them on, they felt like running shoes, but certainly you wouldn't wanna run in these ones for a multitude of reasons. But to be fair, Gucci does have a running shoe. So let me give you guys a closer look at the sneaker. I only wore these out one time and I was only going to someone's house. So I haven't really gotten out to like, you know, walk around in them a whole lot to kind of see what the comfort do over a period of time. But so far, so good, y'all. It has some really good contouring for um, arch support. I really like the double G monogram kind of on there. There's another um, monogram that's way more popular than this one. So this definitely stands out as being a little bit different. And that's what the inside of the shoe looks like. You have the Gucci logo in there, kind of embossed in that metallic gold. Here's the tongue of the shoe. You guys can see that. So yeah, I just like the colors. You guys know I'm obsessed with brown and any variation of brown. So I love it for that. But also, you know, it's just really stood out to me. It's just a really nice sporty sneaker, really cute and stylish. So when you're just on the go and you want to absolutely be comfortable, you don't wear your toes out, you just want to wear a sneaker, but you still want to look a little bit put together like you gave a damn that day, I think this is a great sneaker to have for that. Yeah, so let me know what you guys think down in the comments. And then last but not least for fashion, I wanna share with you guys a pair of sunglasses that I bought recently because I thought these were really, really cool. So when I was in Nordstrom, I went over to the sunglasses section just to see what they had and I found these Alexander McQueen sunglasses. So let me show y'all what these do, okay? So it comes in this nice hard sunglasses case with the gold, you know, sort of embossing going on there. I don't know why I'm a sucker for that. And here they are, y'all. I love these. Ah, do you see how they just like frame my face? So here's the thing, okay? The reason I went for these and the reason I was shopping for sunglasses to begin with is because I was looking for some that were black and I wanted it to have like a little bit of a point right here. Um, kind of a cat eye, but not um, an overstated cat eye. I was almost about to leave because I felt like I couldn't find anything. And then these were like, hey Vaughn! And I went back, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so you have the one side that's very just plain, right? Everything is all black. And then you turn to this side and you have like that kind of graffiti look to it that says McQueen. Just says McQueen. It was something about that that just like, all right, these glasses are for cool people. You know, that's the, that's the vibe I got. So I really loved these. I felt like these would look so cute with like my big hair days, you know, when I have my, my twist outs going and all that. I felt like this would just be so perfect. How cute is that, y'all? I think this is age appropriate. Like I really feel like they designed these glasses for like the mature woman who's still into fashion, still wants to show up and slay, you know what I'm saying? So I really love these y'all. Look at that shape. Look at the shape. It's a little pointy right here, but not too much. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like Beyonce would wear these. People my age, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so um, that is it for, you know, the favorites and whatnot. Now listen, let me tell y'all. I mentioned earlier that I was drinking my water I've been drinking a lot of water, y'all. I think I'm literally at a gallon a day. I am training for a half marathon, so there's that, right? And as a result, I've cut out alcohol altogether. And you know, I just really did like an audit on my fluid diet and just noticed that I was probably consuming a little bit more sugar than I needed to from you know my morning coffee to my evening glass of wine. So between caffeine and alcohol, I was like, mm, we're gonna just cut out the alcohol, I'll keep the caffeine going. But I did minimize my sugary creamer intake, but I am still you know having the caffeine. So I don't have a whole lot to share, but, <laughs> but wait, there's more. Um, I did have um, this bottle that I wanted to share with you guys. This is the last bottle of wine I drank before. I cut it all off, so I kept it. So I'm like, I'm gonna show them this. And this is the drink that I'm probably most excited about having 
when I finish my race, okay? And this is a 19 Crimes wine. You guys know I'm a fan, but this is uh, the Martha Stewart edition, right? And this is called Martha's Chard. This is a 13.8% ABV Chardonnay. <laughs> and it's really good, y'all, right? Um, my mom is a big Chardonnay fan. And when she had this, she was like, yeah, this is one of the better shards I've had. Y'all, this is really good, right? For it to be available at most grocery stores, it's definitely gonna be at your local Benny's or what have you. For it to be so accessible and to be this delicious, I think that it's worth mentioning here. If you're a Chardonnay fan, I think you're really gonna like this one. All right, you guys, so that is it for this month's installment of favorites. Listen, I know we were two months behind, but we gonna get it together, okay? We're back into the groove. We're gonna be posting every month, whatever. Let me know down in the comments the part about the favorites that you enjoyed the most. And I hope you guys are having a great day. Hope you're having a beautiful week. And I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you in my next one. Mwah. Bye, I'll see you on Sunday. <laughs>